all the latest Counter-Strike to updates were released within a two-week gap. This time the developers added new maps, Anubis and Ancient, fixed lots of bugs and exploits and finally leaked how Counter-Strike competitive mode and ranks will change in the future. Hey everyone, Max at the microphone again and if the developers follow the two-week period we should expect the next big update on the 17th of August. However, the key part of this update is the new water shader, which is pretty mind-blowing but still consumes quite a lot of FPS, especially on weak systems. On overpass the player interacted with literally a couple of puddles, but here it's hard for me to imagine 5v5 gunfights with characters standing in waist deep water and occasionally causing various special effects from molotovs or explosions. But what's even more interesting is that the developers keep throwing in more undocumented changes. And if a few weeks ago we were surprised with the grenade inspection animations, now the same thing happened with the C4. And it's actually quite interesting how far the developers will go with the potential customization and monetization of in-game items. Because if skins on Zeus or grenades can be still somehow justified, then skins on the bomb sounds a little bit ridiculous. In fact, it may be just a general logic unification of all in-game items. And the developers want to bring everything that is in the hands of the player under one standard, regardless of future plans for monetization. So when you press the inspect button, your character has to react somehow. But if devs decide to add skins on C4, you can exchange them on Skins Monkey. Use code Gaben to get 5 bucks for just trading your items. Select a few of your current skins, pick anyone in the same price range, and trade your old CSGO items for something new and shiny in CS2. Use code Gaben and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top up bonus. Skins Monkey, links in my code down below. Three months ago, in one of my videos, I already covered an extremely important topic that developers kept secret for a very long time. And now they have finally leaked the first details about the new matchmaking system that aims to replace third-party services like Faceit or Yesea. This system will be based on a completely redesigned premiere game mode. From now on, the game lobby will display like a spider web of the current map pool with brief stats on the recent wins of each player on each map in your team. Near nickname there will be number of wins, percentage of wins, global percentage and so-called Counter-Strike Rating or CSR. Currently CSR is divided into 7 ranks, with integers and decimals, starting at 0 and changing its visual rarity every 5 points, similar to cosmetic items. It seems that currently there is no maximum threshold, and it's possible that in the future the developers will follow the facet path where the highest visual level will be gold, but the toughest player will be easily able to break the 35 point threshold. One of the most important parts of this matchmaking is the introduction of seasons with world and regional leaderboards. Now you will be able to sort the top players among your friends, in your country, in your region or in the world, based on all of the above stats or CSR rating. But most importantly, as I suggested in my video 3 months ago, this whole system will be closely tied to the seasons that will start every 6 months. Judging by the strings in the code, the current schedule is as follows. Limited test or beta season, the one that already going on right now. Then fall 2023, spring 2024 and fall 2024. From what we can speculate that the open release should take place somewhere in between the first fall season. Also the developers are still working on a lot of things I've talked about in previous videos. The most interesting one is the suspicious progress on the eyes of the agents. When the developers put so much effort into a new feature 3 updates in a row, it means it's done for a reason. And I'm kinda sure it'll be used somewhere pretty often. The client mentions two functions, I blink for blinking and I target for locking on a target. If we will open any of the agents in the game model viewer tool, we will see that all the characters have new bones and additional 
additional eye related modifiers. So I think in the future we may see more alive and detailed agents that will blink and look in different directions as similar systems are used in other Valve games. Another flashback from the last update is the mention of a training day for newbies. When you start a game for the first time, you'll be asked to play some casual and tutorial matches against normal players or bots. And only when you're completely confident in yourself, you'll be allowed to play the competitive game mode. Leave a comment with the medal emoji if you watched this far and check out my previous video where I talk about skins on grenades, the remake of Inferno and future CS2 updates. Until next time, увидимся!